What, I would, what would you say? I would say Wildo. It's a it's a double consonant, dude. This is a short vowel. Wildo. Wildo. That's Campa how it works. Complete Campa box. Wildo. Okay. Wildo. Will. I. Ready, set, short, hit. soft I. Today we're going to take a look at the Wildo Complete Camp A Box Polymer Mess Kit. And I'm going to share with you why, to this point, this is the best polymer mess kit that I've found. Because its name is Wildo? Yeah. Scale one to ten, how nerdy is my brother Josh? Uh, say about a nine. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> Beautiful, hanging out, enjoying our lunch break. Awesome. Right, so yeah, here we are, this Wildo, Wildo, uh, whichever way you pronounce it, uh, complete Campa Box uh, mess kit. This thing, uh, I've been looking, guys, we've tested a few. We did the Yuko uh, mess kit, wasn't super impressed with that. Um, you know, I've handled and played around with um, Light My Fire mess kits, and there are just issues with those that I've never really invested the money in. And so when I've, I didn't even know this company existed, it's a Swedish company uh, that makes these. Uh, so these are made in Sweden uh, out of a polymer material, and I'll have all the specs in the um, uh, below description. So if you want like actual, like super tight details, like you have, you're trying to fit this in something, or okay, well, what exactly polymer is it made out of? You all know, have all that stuff for you below, and you can obviously check those out in the links also that we'll offer to you. Uh, you I bought this one on Amazon, I think for like $16, $17. Uh, they do have smaller kits all the way down to just individual items. You can just get individual pieces for less. But this is the like kind of the premium top of the line. I wanted to buy it to see what it would do for us. Uh, so this thing is gonna weigh in at 10 and a half ounces. And you can see here, super solid. They have a couple different color combinations. Not a lot of rattle, and even then really quiet so i really like that aspect really seated well just want to show you that in there the mouth and lid have been seated really well together in there and you got to kind of pull it apart like that you get that little pop there we go so you're going to get your bowl first so that's what we got right here uh, good size bowl you know you could easily do two packets of oatmeal in that cereal um, you know, whatever you may be cooking. Uh, and that's, it's the lid, so it really almost is kind of like a dueling bowl plate. Uh, you know, uh, this is the shallower of the two. So I would argue that it's actually more of like a plate than it is a bowl, but very good size. You know, I could get easily a good size chicken breast and mashed potatoes in there, no problem. Then after that, we have here this cutting board and a strainer, which is awesome. Really like that aspect. Very cool. So depending on how crazy you want to get cooking uh, out in the backcountry, if you're bushcrafting, backpacking, camping, uh, or just car camping, you know, doing RVing, things like that, whatever it may be, you do have that, which fits nicely inside of there. And again, you could leave any of these if you want to cut down on weight. Again, I said 10 ounces for this thing. So you could cut down on weight and leave any of these items that you see. Uh, if there's redundancies, you know, or whatever, you can easily do that. Next up here, we have the spoon. This is my least favorite part of the whole uh, kit because of a couple things. One, it's pretty short. Uh, there you go, made in Sweden right there. You got a little lanyard hole to attach. Uh, the tongs are on the opposite side if you're righty, and you know, that's 90% of the population. Uh, so that's kind of goofy. They're kind of off to the side. So if you're eating salad or like tougher things like that steak, chicken, you know, whatever, that you're not needing a spoon for, you're needing a fork, uh, it's pretty goofy that way. The tines are kind of flexible. So you're not gonna be able to stab like, let's say carrots very well, things like that, and there's just two of them. So that's, it's on a weird side. 
Uh, the spoon, sh you know, portion itself works fine. I don't really have any issue with that. Uh, and then you got your little cutting edge over there, which is also kind of goofy again for righties. I don't know why they, they designed it quite the way they did. I, it feels awkward anytime I've, ha I've had to cut with it and not very intuitive. So the spoon is kind of a throwaway and I would recommend upgrading to either a Yuko or, you know, something else. Uh, this is my least favorite part of the item. And with all the grooves here, with all these grooves, uh, when I would have like yogurt or soup, I always had like little stuff, uh, residual residues, and it's really tricky, particularly if you're in the back country, you don't know, maybe have access to a full cleaning kit um, to get all the stuff out of these little grooves and notches and things. So uh, not super stoked on the spoon, would upgrade that. You do have a three part um, salt shaker, pepper shaker, and I put cayenne in there. So you can season your stuff, you pour it in one side and then there's your spouts on the other. Just to give you a little example right there really cool that that all fits inside there season your stuff properly and then next up guys i've used this all the time not even with my, the kit itself uh, we did a day hike uh twice and i've taken both of these cups slash bowls twice and these things are awesome you can buy them individually you can get sets of them there are these uh folding in on themselves cups now this is the smaller version uh, right here, that's, I believe, 8 or 10 fluid ounces. Again, I'll have those specs annotated below. But you can see there, it opens up. Awesome. You got a little bit of jimp right there. You got your little handle. Hold it right there. Have your nice little cup of coffee, tea, whatever it would be. Really awesome. Weighs next to nothing. And again, you could just buy these themselves. Flexible. I mean, you got to, like, guys, this is, like, kind of have has become... And they're inexpensive on top of that. This has become kind of my go-to, what is this, fold a cup? Uh, my go-to dishwasher safe as well. Super awesome, by the way. Uh, backpacking, hiking mug. You know, in particular, if I've got a couple people with me, you know, I can throw a few in. They weigh next to nothing. They stack inside each other if you get the large and the small. And everyone can, you know, enjoy a cup of coffee and it's awesome so anyway that's the small one you have the larger version right here the smaller one will not will not have any graduations or anything like that this larger one will have some graduations and i've done a ton of folding and folding out and haven't seen any sort of um uh, wearing you know or any issues like that it's really light you probably can't see it in there but they do have markings in here that are j just numbers it's like one two three four five yeah there so i don't know if that's milliliters uh, or what, but that's all it says is just one, two, three, or four, five. It is very deep, very large. You can see there in my hand, just to give us some perspective. You know, I mean, there's my Nalgene right there. Uh, and that will go up to 14 ounces and you still have a, a bunch around. So I, I believe that's like at least a 16 ounce uh, mug right there, if not more. Uh, and that thing is awesome as well. So that's fantastic if you like a lot of coffee, if you're doing a whole can of soup. Um, you know, something like that. This is going to work really well. You got, again, your handle. You got your little jimping. You're good to go. And then folds back in on itself. Pretty easy to clean, too. I know there's some gnarliness in there. I haven't cleaned it out since, you know, going on my last trip. Then this is the bowl. This is going to be a little bit deeper than the lid. Uh, and this is going to have that little angled portion right there where you can grab. But that's also where, you know, you pop the whole thing out nice and deep can enjoy a lot of stuff with there. So I uh, just want to show you guys this. I've used it on my uh, recent backpacking trip that I took the crew on. I've used it around the house several times. I've taken it to the office a bunch. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of versatility. The really only drawback would be, obviously you can just do like the lid and the bowl and take it to work and put, you know, a salad or some sort of thing in there. It's not watertight. It's very close to watertight, um, but there will be slight leakage from what I've seen. Uh, with it, but that's how you would have to take this as a mess kit with food in it. That's something to consider. You know, obviously, you, everything stacks inside itself. There's no space to actually store and transport the food itself. So, just things to consider. But out of all of the polymer based cook sets, and I've looked at a lot, I've looked at Sea to Summit stuff, I've looked at, as I've said, list all those for you. This is for the price the best. Uh, most functional set I have found to date and particularly those folding mugs cups are mind-blowing and even if the kit doesn't connect with you I would highly recommend looking into those mugs uh, just for lightweight capable transportation of your beverages and are drinking you know of your beverages and I will have those in the links as well 
uh, below. Again, over to Amazon, uh, we'll have links also to Backcountry. Um, we got new links to 511 Tactical. We got Blade HQ, GP Knives, uh, Knockaround Sunglass Company. We just appreciate when you guys use all those hyperlinks and purchase through them. It means a lot to us when you do that. So there you have it, folks. Hope you have enjoyed it. Hope it's been fun, quick, entertaining, giving you the info that you need. If you have any questions about this mess kit or any other gear in general, don't uh, hesitate to ask below and I'll do my very best to answer any questions that you may have. Always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.